purpose of this pilot video is to demonstrate the capabilities of this uh, very plums smart digital display. Uh, this is meant for many applications and we're using this case study to demonstrate them. There's a Blue Sky supermarket is the largest ethnic market in the Durham region. And what we have to show through this uh, demonstration and presentation is how we can use the very plum display, indoor digital display to use for advertising, wayfinding, and also more importantly, generate more traffic flow for the purpose of buying product from Blue Sky. As you see, this uh, very good resolution display is split into sections. If you notice, this is actually real-time data that we get through the internet. This one is a downloaded from the Blue Sky website that shows the products they sell and the specialties on a, a weekly basis. Now, at the moment, they print them out. However, if we use this uh, uh, screen, we would actually have real-time update as you can see happening right now. You just know the screens change, and below right now is really any advertising that we want to do, and as you can see, just change. So this real time happening, and you notice right now that we actually have a article from the University of uh, uh, Ontario, UIT, a student blog, really writing a fantastic unsolicited review of Blue Sky. So this just illustrates the capabilities that you have, you could have to demonstrate. Obviously, right now, depending on the application, you may have different things. I'll now demonstrate the capability here that helps in saving the printing of flyers. As you can see, it expands the flyer, as if you're looking at the Fisher flyer, and you can scrape screen and scan whatever you want to do, and look at what's on sale, and this way, it cuts down on the amount of printed flyer, and then it's more dynamic. Because uh, Blue Sky can change these things regularly, you have all the up-to-date information that you use to look at what products are on sale. If you're like me, uh, you may have problems finding the products you want to buy in a large supermarket. One of the capabilities of this smart uh, digital display is that you can have assisted way of finding what you want to buy. And that's called wayfinding. You notice here right now it's just a schematic layout of the supermarket. It's not an actual layout. The actual layout now will depend upon the location, store location and number of products they have. And we set different categories of products, again as an illustration, bilingual. And of course, it could be multilingual. If you want the other languages, it's no problem. As you notice, I accidentally touched condiment in my up in here. If I touch halal, it types lots of here, means it just is located. If it types spices, again, it locates differently right in here. Now, these are all just demonstrations. If you see more categories and we'll put more details in putting the actual shelves in whatever. Now, once you've done that, then you can actually go and customize what you want to do for the specific location. Very interesting feature is that if you want to know what's at the back of the store, you touch it, and it shows up what's at the back of the store. If you want to know what's in this category, then it shows up. So you will work on it both ways, searching from the categories or searching from the physical locations. Here's another very interesting feature, a pop-up screen that shows up a unsolicited review of the Blue Sky Supermarket by Mr. Andrew Flood, uh, well, Flagiel, who is a student of the new IT. Now, I don't know Mr. Andrew Flagiel, but when I read this review, it's really fantastic. And this is another feature that we could now build into our system so that we could have uh, published interviews, reviews from whoever, uh, easily accessible by everyone. Now, I will not go into the details of this, but you can see from this uh, left and right now, categories right now, very detailed and very complementary. So it's a very long review, but you can see 
will you show all of these things. And this is a pop-up one, and you can do whatever you want with it. Now, if you want to go back to the original screen, all you have to do is touch back, it goes back. Here's a very powerful feature that will help drive businesses. It's the ability to remotely control any things you want to display on real time. For example, promoting special features, special sales, and other things. And this can be done from a uh, cell phone remotely. And then, for example, I'll press send. And you'll send this image. And it will soon show up in here on the screen. It takes about 10 seconds for it to come and display it. There you go. Now you will see you have special offer, 100 natural for the screen, and then the prices. And then you can do as many as you want, and this can be done as often as you want. Now, and you can have it displayed as long as you want. All those capabilities are within the control of the manager. By the way, a big feature of this capability is that, as you can show, it goes back to original flyer screen, and then it switches over automatically with the special shown. And you can control the timing, how long which of the screen shows up. Again, it gives a lot of power for marketing and advertising in the hands of the manager in real time. It can never be done otherwise. This is one of our special capabilities that only their plan was able to do based on our research and our development. It can be complementary with any PA system. As you know, currently right now, the manager will make an announcement of any special features, but not everybody may listen to it. And this way, we'll have a visual display and the PA. So it's completely combined, it's synergistic. One adds to the other and again makes the whole purpose of this thing to drive sales and increase the revenue for specific products. Something else you need to keep in mind, anything below here, the advertising and this black space are really valuable assets for advertising and it could be potentially a revenue generator. For example, some of your suppliers may want to put in the special ads or to promote their products and here and now you could put whatever you want you know, you may have some people like them, but more permanent. This is permanent. By permanent, might not, I mean, to say you could change it once a week. But this one is changing every cycle. You would have 20 ads or whatever. This one's shown for 10 seconds, one minute, or whatever time you want. And that is a potentially good revenue generator for the company as well and complement the products that have been sold and displayed on the flyers.